Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, in the previous video, we threw it in the trash, all right? We got rid of all our expired hair products. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my tools, my, my brush, my combs, my hair clips. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I made a gentle cleaning solution in order to clean your tools. Yes, we got to do that, you guys. I know I am guilty of cleaning my tools in the shower using some shampoo, but this treatment, you guys, is very gentle and it will get your tools deep cleaned. So let's talk about it. Let's have that conversation about healthy hair practices. I know we need to talk about this, okay? So first, I'm checking my tools, ensuring that they're not broken, they're not missing any teeth. If so, you definitely need to toss it, okay? But also, I'm just trying to assess it, see what I need to clean. You definitely want to clean them a little bit before you actually start soaking them. But, okay, so what do you think that's in your tools? You see all this stuff, you guys, it's buildup, it's products, it's dirt, it's oil, dead skin, gel, odor, okay? Mildew, especially if you use wet products a lot, if you constantly use gel and custards. Um, so y'all stay tuned a little bit more. You're going to see some disgusting truth, but it's definitely a conversation that needs to be had. Um, so let's talk about the products that I use before we get started. So I do choose to use a dish detergent and this one that I share with you guys is my all-time favorite because it cleans very well and it's a clarifier. Vinegar has a lot of great benefits and uses. I usually store it in my laundry area because I use it for cleaning and clothes to remove odor and it will definitely lift that residue in your tools. You'll see. Toothbrush. A quick rinse in water with some soap, you know, does nothing without a little scrubbing. So definitely grab a toothbrush. You're also going to need a rat tail comb to get in there, all right? I would not recommend to use a shampoo. Why would you want to use shampoo to put moisture on dead hair? You want to cleanse your tools, okay? You want to gently clean them. And these products here always work for me. So let me show you guys what I do, okay? So when you're working with hot water, make sure it's not scalding hot, you know, but we do need some heat, so definitely be careful and cautious with that. Add a little dish detergent, some vinegar, use um, the rat tail comb to kind of mix that mixture all together, and let's get started, okay? Let's soak our tools. So you want to make sure that they are soaked. As you will see in soak, you guys, you will see the dirt lift off easily, okay? Um, I do wanna mention that I did make a second batch of water for my brush with the bristles because that was disgusting. I didn't wanna add it in this mixture here since it's like all plastic. So um, you'll see that, but going back to the footage here, so I'm adding all my tools in the mixture and then I'm just going to let it soak for 20 minutes and then we begin cleaning our tools. So stay tuned. So now that they have soaked for a while, you will begin to see like, like this paddle brush, for example, you guys. Visual eye, it looks like it's just hair. But look closely, after you let that vinegar soak in and let that solution settle in, you would see some like dead skin or dead products up in there. It's very disgusting. So look, let your tools soak in the solution. It's very gentle, it will be fine. Let it soak in the solution and then we're going to start cleaning. This isn't the cleaning, you guys. This is soaking, okay? We're soaking them. <laughs> this is soaking, this isn't cleaning right now. See, we'll, we're letting that, you know, loosen up a bit, and then we're gonna get in and we're gonna clean.
All right, so now that my tools have been um, soaking for about 20 minutes, I just place the tub into my second sink. Or if you have an extra counter space, just place it on the counter. And then I used hot water, dish detergent, and a toothbrush to scrub my tools, okay? Between each tooth, um, especially the handle. Don't forget that, you know, sometimes we just think about uh, the actual tooth or the actual tool itself instead of thinking about the actual handle <laughs> our hands are constantly touching products constantly touching things and we definitely want to ensure that this is a healthy tool when we're putting it on our healthy hair so what you just use is just some hot water um, some dish detergent and your toothbrush and just ensure each tool is clean and that's what I did for all my the rest of my tools so I'm just gonna let the video play so you can see that. Then I'll chime back in in a few. All right, so I don't use too many brushes like this, but I did for my uh, wet look tutorial. And also I do use it on my edges hairline occasionally. Um, I do want to mention that I did make a second batch of this gentle cleaning uh, solution here. This isn't the same one. So I let it soak in its own uh, solution for about 20 minutes and then I went at it. Okay, y'all, this is so disgusting and oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, y'all ready to see it? Okay, so before it was like dried up gel, but once it's wet and activated, okay, you guys, there's, that's gel. That's gel. That's disgusting. Yuck. <laughs> um, like I said, I don't use too many brushes with these types of bristles in my hair. Um, I don't find it being like a very healthy tool to use. Um, but just ensure when you are using this brush, you are using it uh, tilted, like using it on the, the um, edge side. And I'll show you guys how I use this brush. Um, but yeah, so when it's, it is used, just make sure that you're definitely cleaning this because it definitely has some nasty buildup that's stuck in between those bristles. That's pretty much hard to really, really see unless and once it dries up, okay? Um, so I just want to come on here, show you guys how I cleanse my tools. And like I said, um, to the naked eye, it just looks like hair. Visually, it just looks like hair until you let your tools soak, okay? And just really pay attention to the buildup of our brushes and our cones. Um, in order to have healthy hair practices, you must clean your tools, okay? And then I just want to end and just let you guys know, um... I prefer to clean my hair tools in my bathroom and just use some gentle bleach water or bleach cleaning solution in order to clean your sinks. Just want to throw that in there after you finish. Um, but I'll let the video play so you guys can just see the end result. Um, you'll see that I'm able to uh, see through my brush like it's brand new. All right. Much love, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.